Hey guys, what's going on? So today I have my Christmas collection update. So yeah, um, I got a really nice amount of stuff and I had a really good fucking Christmas. So I guess first I'll show all the merch stuff, um, then CDs, then records. But I got three records, four CDs, two patches, and a shirt. There's all, Of course there's other like non-music related stuff I got, like video games, but I'm just going to show music related stuff obviously because I don't catalog my video games. Um, so first up, we got a Defeated Sanity patch. So this is really cool. Um, love Defeated Sanity, one of my favorite Brutal Death Metal bands. This is definitely going on my jacket, and I plan on getting it on soon. Next one is a Blasphemy patch, Fallen Angel of Doom. Again, classic fucking war metal band. You guys should all know Blasphemy. And a uh, really awesome, nice quality patch. Also, of course, going on my jacket. Last piece of merch, I got a Cryptopsy long sleeve. Of course, you guys know how much I love Cryptopsy. I mean, not so vile. One of my favorite death metal albums ever. Pretty simple, cool shirt. Uh, what does it say? Bound to Rigor Mortis for all eternity. Then you got their logo down the sleeve. There we go. Down the sleeves. Or just this sleeve. The other sleeve doesn't have anything. But awesome shirt. So now on to the CDs. Uh, first two are from my parents, and then the next two are from an Amazon card that I also got from my parents. So first up, we have Moral Decay with Forensic. Great fucking... I guess you could say it's a Brutal Death Metal album, but it's kind of... There's more to it than just Brutal Death Metal. It doesn't sound like Disgorge or Devourment. Um, Moral Decay is a really unique band. Um, imagine a blend of like really early Cryptopsy, like Blasphemy Made Flesh... Uh, era mixed with like some like New York -y type stuff like suffocation internal bleeding um, with just a little bit of like necroticism era carcass and that's what you go with this on the sound doesn't sound anything like a lot of the bands that copy necroticism era carcass though so I don't expect this to sound like impaled or exhumed or a band like that but this is some really awesome kind of proggy ish rural death metal so there's the album cover, you got like the outline of their logo with some surgeons in it. Uh, there's the spine and there's the back of the track listing. About three unique Lear records. This came out in, I want to say like 2000, it doesn't, oh 2002. They got some like surgery picture there. Another one right here. Uh, my favorite songs right here are My Mind Bleeds, Tra ah, My Mind Bleeds Tragedies, Monkey Cage, um, and beyond forensic knowledge. Uh, Chronicles is another really good one. Just flip through the booklet. Really twisted fucking lyrics on here. Um, not your usual, like, I don't know. They're more like cryptopsy, a cryptopsy kind of way of twisted rather than like a cannibal corpse or devourment type of twisted where it's just straight and to the point and simple. Uh, these are a lot more like, not cryptic, but less juvenile and more just genuinely fucking twisted. Um, but this is a killer album though. I highly recommend you check this out if you're not. Moral Decay is a great band. And this is probably their best album. Although I do really like their demo material, but obviously as far as full lengths go, this is where it's at. Next up, we have Defeated Sanity with Passages Into Deformity. This is probably my second favorite Defeated Sanity album behind Psalms of the Moribund. Killer album, I believe this came out in 2013. It's a cool album cover. Not my favorite album cover from them, actually, but it's still neat. Fits their green kind of thing they always have going for most of their albums. I believe they only have, like, two album covers that aren't green. Uh, two CD, well, two discs. There's the CD. That comes with a... Fuck. Comes with a DVD. This was dedicated to their original guitarist, who is actually the father of the drummer, uh, Lil Gruber. So, yeah. Or Lele Gruber. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Um, of course... If you don't know Defeat Sanity, um, they're from Germany, technical, rural death metal. Really, imagine like, um, if you took like, Disgorge US, or, um, or Gorgasm, or Deeds of Flesh, and you mixed in elements of like some jazzy type stuff, so it sounds like, a mixture like Disgorge and like, um, like Focus Era Cynic. Um, it's proggy, but it's not, like, in a douchey way. Um, and again, it's also technical, but not in a douchey way. Um, one of my favorite fucking death metal bands in general. 
great album. Uh, best songs on here are Naraka, Verblendung, and probably Verses of Deformity. I also really like The Purging. Every song on here is great, and I also love the production. So yeah, now to the CDs I got with the Amazon gift card. First up, I'm surprised as fuck I found this on Amazon of all places. But, hey, it's really cool to fucking own this. This is The Last Days of Humanity with the sound of rancid juices slashing around your coffin. It's a mouthful of an album title. Fantastic gore grind album. I probably shouldn't show the album cover too much. I want this video to get taken down, but it's a guy with his head. Looks like it's smashed, and you got their logo. There's the back. 26 tracks on here, of course. This is gore grind. Um, so all really short songs. Twisted shit. You got, like, these people... These, what? You got these kids, like, playing soccer with a severed head right here. This is a really, to me, this album sounds like, well, there are some, like, gore grindy riffs, but Last Days of Humanity, this is their debut album, and this album sounds a lot like an old-school grindcore album with gore grind pitch-shifted vocals, um, and a few, like, those bouncy kind of gore grindy riffs, but for the most part, this album is very, like, Napalm Deathy, like, like, scum era Napalm Death, but with gore grind tones and stuff. I love the guitar tone on here, it's so fucking, like, heavy sounding, and just chunky. Uh, let's see, you got thank yous and a picture of the band that came out in 1996. But yeah, great album. I also really want to get their second album, which is my favorite from them. If you saw my top five gore grind albums video I made recently, um, that's a great album as well. I need to get that. But yeah, Last Days of Humanity, the sound of rancid juices sloshing around your coffin. If you're new to Gore Grinder, Last Days of Humanity, this is also not a bad place at all to start. Because it's not that hard to get into. This is, the vocals are crazy, but it doesn't have super weird production or anything. Last CD I got is Severe Torture with Feasting on Blood. Really awesome brutal death metal band. I want to say these guys are from Europe. Um, I forget where they're from. Um, I want to say they're fucking Danish, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, awesome album cover. These guys are kind of like, if you took old Cannibal Corpse, like, Tomb of the Mutilated and the Bleeding era, and you mixed it with, like, like, bands like Disavowed and Biamia. Got a cool disc. Funny collage. Obviously not the most unique band ever, but they are a pretty cool fucking band. Um, it's not generic. It's not super generic. It's not, you know, that unique, but it's done very fucking well there there are some really great songs on here um i'd say my favorite songs are feces for jesus uh decomposing bitch uh the song severe torture vomiting christ they're all good songs there's also some bonus tracks on here um there's a butchery of the soul video track and Whams of a God and Taking Down the Descender. Those are all bonus tracks. This came out, I want to say this came out in like the late 90s or early 2000s. Doesn't say anywhere. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But I do know this is an old school real death metal album. Um, but yeah, if you like death metal in general though, there's no reason you shouldn't like this. Or shouldn't at least be alright with it. If you don't, if you want a super original band, I go to this. But if you want a death metal band that isn't the most unique band ever, but has some really good, like, just some really good songs and some really killer riffs. I mean, the intro to Feces for Jesus, that intro riff is so fucking just, you know, when you hear that, you know this is going to be a killer album. And this is their best album, in my opinion. Their second album, Misanthropic Carnage, is also a really fucking killer. Um, also, another thing, on Amazon, this CD is literally, like, I think it was like $4.99 or something. And their, their second album, Misanthropic Carnage, is also like i think five bucks so that's a good fucking deal for a really cool album um so yep i got this as well with the amazon gift card it's pretty awesome now on to the records uh so a lot of these are actually albums i've wanted for a while but i've just never gotten around to getting well two of them are and one of them is my favorite album of all time uh, i'll show my favorite album of all time one first uh this one came a little bit late in the mail so i didn't get it on christmas but this is a gift for my parents um I have this on CD already, but as I said, it's my favorite album of all time, and I've wanted, I've wanted it on vinyl for a little while. So, this is Acid Bath with one of the Kite String Pops. Love the sound of fucking death. I've listened to this, I've listened to this album on a near daily basis. 
Every song on here is perfect. If you don't know Acid Bath, sludge metal band from Louisiana from the 90s. They only ever made two albums and this is their debut. Put out through Rotten Records, which fuck that record label. Uh, they're a shitty record label, but this band is probably the only reason anyone cares about that record label. Um, this isn't the best pressing, to be completely honest. There's some sound quality issues on here. Because the first, all of side A sounds alright. Um, of course, it's just black vinyl. Then side B, for some reason, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it has this like hissing sound and it sounds like the record's dirty or like, it sounds like the needle on my turntable is like super dirty, but it's not because I cleaned it. And I tested other records and they sound fine. But either way, I don't give a fuck. I'm still happy to own this on vinyl and it's still awesome to listen to despite that little sound quality thing. I don't know if it's just this pressing or just this copy. Um, but I, I don't really care. I couldn't be happier. Cause I love Acid Bath and this is still great to own. I mean, I could be listening to this album through, like, the shittiest headphones on, like, the shittiest sounding pressing, and it would still sound amazing, because this is just a fucking amazing album. <laughs> it is so hard to pick favorite songs from this, and it's hard to find this band on the internet to listen to, because Rotten Records takes it down, because they think it's, like, fucking the early 2000s, and Napster is gonna end the world or some shit. I mean, they're stuck in that kind of mindset, it seems like, because... They're not going to lose any money. In fact, they'd probably make more. I mean, this band was on Spotify briefly recently, and after that, this band, the band's fan base just grew, like, in, like, just in a couple, be with this being on Spotify a couple days, I started seeing people pushing this everywhere, all over the internet, talking about it. My favorite songs on here, though, are Cheap Vodka. Uh, Finger Pains of the Insane is probably my favorite song on here, if I had to pick one. Uh, Jezebel. If you're new to this band, Jezebel is a great song to listen to. Uh, to Babo Kumi, Cassie Eats Cockroaches, What Color Is Death, uh, Dope Fiend, but every song on here is amazing. Um, really dynamic band too, there's a lot of different types of songs on here. They've got some really fast, short, punky songs like Cheap Vodka, uh, some like really slow, sludgy songs like The Blue and Dr. Seuss is Dead. Um, you got some kind of death metal-y songs like Jezebel and God Machine. Some kind of groovier tracks like What Color Is Death and Cassie Eats Cockroaches. You got some like ballads like Scream of the Butterfly and The Bones of Baby Dolls. And this is a twisted, fucked up album. I mean, you can already tell just by looking at the album cover um, of the John Wayne Gacy painting. And of course, there's more John Wayne Gacy artwork inside and on the back. And all the lyrics are this big block. Um, yeah, I love this album so much. And I'm pretty happy to own this on vinyl. So yep, Acid Bath on the Kite String Pops. Now one of the two albums I wanted to have for a really long time that one of them was out of print for a while and finally they fucking reissued. And the other one that I've just been too lazy to pick up. So first I'll show the one that just got reissued earlier this year but I uh, asked for for Christmas because I hadn't gotten around to getting it. This is a really basic album too, but I'm happy to own it. This is Obituary with Slowly We Rot. Classic death metal album. If you're watching this video and you don't know this album, I don't know what the fuck you're doing watching my YouTube channel. Because this is like, this and like Cannibal Corpse and Morbid Angel and Death are about as mainstream and like well known as death metal gets. But that's not to put it down at all. This is a fucking great, great album. Uh, I think Obituary is kind of an overrated band because they do only have a half, they only have like this and um, Cause of Death are like their best albums. And their third and fourth albums are decent and everything else I don't really give a fuck about. But this is a great album though. I'd say this is definitely a masterpiece. Cheesy back cover. A reissue done by Music on Vinyl. Um, it says Music on Vinyl. It's the label. But it also says Roadrunner. Uh, great songs on here. Um, Internal Bleeding. Ah, Internal Bleeding. Uh, Till Death, the title track, Silly We Rot, uh, Immortal Visions, Godly Beings. Like, the first, like, five songs on here are perfect. Um, nasty production, too. Uh, no insert or anything. It's just on black vinyl. Sounds amazing. John Tardy's vocals are at their best on here. Great vocal performance on here. Killer riffs. Nasty production. This doesn't sound like most more sound, pro, um, more sound albums, either. Some sounds a lot nastier and 
just more filthy than those. Well, those are nasty in a different way. This one sounds like slimy almost. And just dirty and it almost some like the second half of the album almost sounds like a demo. It's so nasty sounding, but yeah. You guys should all know this. I mean, if you're not into death metal, uh, this is like the one of the albums to listen to. Cause I mean, I've been listening to this since I was like 14, um, and I'm just so happy to finally own it. Uh, but yeah, amazing albums. Obituary, slowly we rock. Last thing I have is one of the releases that got me into black metal that I, for some reason, have not gotten around. Well, actually, there is a reason I haven't gotten around to picking this up is because for some, it's an EP. But for some reason, it goes for like 30 bucks on vinyl. Um, probably because it's an import. But Mayhem, Death Crush. Again, if you don't know this, I don't know what you're doing watching this YouTube channel. But this is a fantastic EP. You could say whatever the fuck you want about Mayhem. I'm like, Rrr, people just like them because of the controversy. But you cannot say shit about this album. I mean, this is a great EP. I don't know why I just called it an album. But every song on here is killer. I mean, the title track, that fucking riff, da na 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 da na 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 Like, how is that not fucking amazing? Chainsaw Guts Fuck is another fucking catchy, classic riff. Necrolust, really chuggy fucking riff. Uh, Pure Fucking Armageddon is another amazing track. Um, this is just an awesome release. Awesome album cover. Of course, there's the back. You got the classic... Um, the, the no fun, no core, no mosh, no trends with the anti more sound guy, which is kind of funny that I just showed an obituary album that I'm pretty sure the same guy produced. So that's kind of ironic, but got the lyrics. Some nasty, kind of badly fucking translated, or not translated, but like the title track is pretty much in broken English. I mean, demonic laughter, your cremation, your lungs gasp for air, but are filled with blood, a sudden crack as I crash your skull. They're not, like, illiterate, but they're just really, like... I don't know, they're just fucking weird. Uh, Chainsaw Guts Bug also has some nasty lyrics. Um, same with Necrolust. Of course, like, necrophilia-type lyrics. This was just on Black Vinyl. Um, sounds pretty good for a back, uh, back on Black pressing as well. Now I have pretty much everything about Mayhem, everything from Mayhem that matters. Uh, I, although, besides the newest album, I thought that was pretty good, but I have all the classic stuff, like White and Leipzig and Day Mysterious, and then now this. Of course, there's a million, like, cash-in live releases with Dead, but I mean, I already have White and Leipzig, so the renders though is pretty much pointless. And there also is Don the Black Hearts, which is cool to own, but I need, I probably might, might get that at some point, but it's not a fucking priority. I don't, I'm not, I don't listen to Mayhem as much as I used to uh, when I was probably like 15, but this is a great EP, and I'm very happy to own this. Just If you're new to black metal, listen to this. It's some of the most perfect 16 minutes. pretty sure it's like around 15 or 16, 17 minutes of old school black metal you can hear. If you like, like Celtic Frost, this is a little death metal-y as well. You'll like this. Maniac's vocals are really cool and unique on here as well. They're a little weird at first, but yeah. You guys should all know this, though. It's a perfect EP, Mayhem's Death Crush. But yeah, that's it for this um, collection update. Uh, I guess I'll give a belated Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, I know Christmas was, like, probably like five days ago at this point. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.